Hello, thanks for coming to this swim training module. This module will guide you through the new swim reporting guideline, which has been recently published in the BMJ, and a link to the paper is provided in the references section of the module. SWIM is an acronym which stands for Synthesis Without Meta-Analysis. The SWIM reporting guideline aims to improve the transparent reporting of synthesis where meta-analysis is not used. Specifically, the SWIM guideline is for synthesis of intervention effects when the synthesis does not use meta-analysis or standardised effect sizes. There's common misunderstanding that a systematic review should always include a meta-analysis, that is, a statistical pooling of standardised effect sizes. But the reality is that a meta-analysis may not be possible, or it may not be the option that makes best use of the available evidence. In our examination of Cochrane reviews, we found that only a half of them relied entirely on meta-analysis, and 16% contained no meta-analysis at all. This was the case across reviews from nearly all Cochrane review groups. When authors do not perform meta-analysis, they very often say something like, the data were heterogeneous, so we synthesised the data narratively. And in most cases, no further details of the synthesis methods are provided. This means that it's not possible to know how the synthesis was conducted or how the conclusions were reached. It also means that very often in reviews that use what is referred to as narrative synthesis, the review methods are opaque. And this is not consistent with a scientific systematic review approach, which aims to be transparent. To address this lack of transparency in reviews of intervention effects, which include but cannot meta-analyse quantitative intervention effect data, we have developed the SWIM reporting guideline. This project was originally conceived to improve the conduct and reporting of narrative synthesis, and some of you may remember this being the ICONS project. But the term narrative synthesis is not well defined and may refer to a wider range of approaches, including synthesis of qualitative data. So we have decided to use the term synthesis without meta-analysis, or SWIM. The SWIM guideline has been developed to closely align with guidance in the new Cochrane Handbook. The SWIM guideline provides nine reporting items to promote transparent reporting of how studies are grouped, the standardised metric used for the synthesis, the synthesis method, how data are presented, a summary of the synthesis findings, and limitations of the synthesis. This module provides an explanation for each of the SWIM reporting items, accompanied by illustrative examples with questions. There's a check your knowledge section at the end of the module to help you know how well you've understood the items. There's also a references section for this module, which provides a full bibliography used in the development of the SWIM guideline. And also the link to the BMJ paper where the SWIM guideline and explanatory guidance are now published. We also provide a link to the SWIM webpage where you can find details of how to join the SWIM virtual discussion network to keep up to date with discussions around SWIM. We hope you find the module interesting and useful.